Aloha everyone and welcome to Skincare with Hiram. If you don't know who I am, my name's Hiram and I'm passionate about teaching you how to perfect your skincare routine. And I have the most special of all special guests lying here <laughs> flat on a table in front of me. <laughs> Hi, I'm Brad Mondo, hello. I am about to get a facial by Hiram. I'm so excited, it's early in the morning, so I'm ready to relax and get a beautiful, you know, soothing, relaxing facial using selfless products. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes, it is early in the morning. This is the straightest our voices are ever gonna get. If you're wondering why I have freakish blue hair that looks amazing, Brad did me the favor of doing my hair last night, which was an incredible experience, but it also <laughs> took eight hours and we decided, yeah. you know what? We're just gonna wait to film my video until this morning. So I'm trying to return the favor <laughs> by giving him a facial. And I'm really excited because I haven't given a facial in a while. I used to do it to my clients all the time and it has been a little while, um, but we're gonna go in with full pore extractions. We're gonna, oh yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's gonna be a relaxing facial featuring some of the products from my line, which I'm excited for you. I mean, I know you've already been using them, but hopefully maybe the way I apply them will re-inspire something within Yay. you. Let's just get into it because it's morning time you don't have a full face of makeup on which makes it a lot easier because mm -hmm. we can just go immediately in with cleansing although I have to ask did you already cleanse your face no oh perfect I don't cleanse in the morning oh that's right but we can right. totally do it so you no, usually fine. don't cleanse in the morning because you have more dry skin yeah but give me the whole thing so tell me a little bit about your skin sort of sensitive sometimes not I don't know anymore dry eczema prone and that's it you know okay mm -hmm. sounds great we're gonna go in with a quick gentle cleansing step just to make sure that everything is out of your skin from the night before but before we even do that let's start with some affirmations i am a bad bitch i am a bad bitch Nicki minaj is queen <laughs> and that's not something i'm gonna apologize for and that's not something i apologize for there we go wow, our daily that prayers felt, that felt good. right <laughs> So I'm gonna first go in with the Centella and Green Tea Daily Gel Cleanser from my brand Selfless by Hiram. Ooh, bougie. Mm. Little green tea moment Switch. as we're drinking green tea. Oh my gosh, yeah. We literally started off the morning drinking green tea, so that's perfect. I mean, have you used the ingredient green tea on your skin before? I don't think so. It's amazing for sensitivity and irritation. If you mm. have like irritated, red, prone skin, that's me. Um, it's definitely a great way to go in. And guys, if I look like I'm struggling to see right now, it's because I am. <laughs> These lights are really bright. <laughs> and every time I close my eyes and open them, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> You know, this is supposed to be a relaxing spa <laughs> moment, so you can close your eyes. That is totally fine. I just like to first go in. Oh my gosh, it has been so long since I've done this with clients. <laughs> with just gently wetting your face to prep for the cleanser. Okay, beard. Okay. I see the cotton rounds snagging on oh the beard. Oh my God, okay. literally. <laughs> the older I get, I'm like, every single day I have to shave now. I'm like, oh. Oh my gosh. I don't <laughs> want to grow up anymore. So Brad, tell me, when was the last time you had a facial? Probably year and a half ago like probably before covid oh wow okay yeah i mean it makes sense yeah every time i go to get a facial they're like just do what you're doing i'm like okay <laughs> <laughs> nice okay i like the extraction and stuff mm -hmm. but they only last so long before i get more blackheads <laughs> yeah they're pretty intense they work they're amazing they're super good does your skin ever freak out because of them no good that means you have a really good facialist thanks girly a really good job <laughs> so this cleanser i specifically made so that it's really good at balancing hydration but not overly stripping the skin which is something that's like really really hard to find it feels nice it doesn't burn or anything sometimes good. i have cleansers like burn a little bit mm -hmm. what is that why does it burn honestly it can be like the surfactant agents that can mm. be irritating to the skin, whether it be like sulfates or different kinds of ingredients like that can be sensitizing to already like compromised or irritated skin. It can be fragrance, it could be scrubs, it could be drying alcohols, it could be dyes. But a lot of people don't know that like cleansing can be the most damaging part of your skincare routine. You don't even know it. Really? So, Why? Mm -hmm. Plays with your moisture barrier, which is kind of like the most important thing when it comes to protecting the health of your skin. Mm -hmm. And if you strip your moisture barrier, uh, it means you're damaging your skin mm. in the long run because it doesn't have the essential like oils mm. um, and essentially nutrients that your body provides that it needs just to be healthy skincare should be the extra step that helps with skin it shouldn't be the thing that like 
completely demolishes your skin. I totally used to demolish my skin. With oh, skincare. no. I used to put, like, everything on it and just to put it on, you know? Like, mm-hmm. you know when you just get addicted to skincare mm-hmm. and you just, like, I don't know. It's, like, in the beginning of the addiction, you mm-hmm. just think, like, more is better. And then you realize, like, oh, actually, I should probably just use, like, a few things that are really good for my skin. Like, I remember as a teenager, I always used to break out. And I always used to use like the most random stuff I could find. And just like, I thought like washing my face was just like enough, you Mm. know, and not like Mm -hmm. trying to find a cleanser that was actually good for me. It was a rough journey. I had a lot of like little pimples all over my face in high school. And I remember always being embarrassed and like, ugh, like those ones (laughs) that you can like feel coming out of your skin, like Mm -hmm. that aren't out yet. They were really sore. Like I had a lot of that. Anyways, I used to use like all kinds of shit. I remember in the skincare routine reaction video where I reacted to your skincare routine that you did a really good job. super impressed thank you it's all thanks to you <laughs> <laughs> and youtube in general well your skin looks amazing how does it feel after the cleanser it feels beautiful good. yeah not dry okay. not tight good. just gorgeous we'll see how long that lasts because the next step <laughs> we have is something that i don't know if you've heard of before you guys recognize this it is a new face Ooh, i system. actually almost bought one of those <gasps> really okay yeah i'll have to see how i like it it is definitely weird and i wanted to add this in because it's kind of like a unique feel experience mm-hmm. definitely you know the facial part as opposed to just applying skincare products and this is really cool because what it is is microcurrent technology that helps to stimulate the nerves Mm -hmm. in order to help prevent things like premature aging and darkness dark spots dark circles all that kind of stuff and it does this by just sending like these little shocks into your skin you first apply the gel primer to your face and i'm gonna apply it really really liberally if we need to we can wipe it off afterwards because i have applied this so minimally that i feel the shocks on my skin it's not a terrible experience it's just i want to feel shocked shock me hiram (laughs) I want to be like like, Frankenstein (laughs) scientist. Here we go. I'll just apply liberally to every area of your face. And this is essentially just a gel primer to make sure that it smoothly works on every area of so your face. So it's tightening? Yeah, I mean, it helps to just basically prevent a lot of like uh, skin damage. Now there is kind of, you know, of course, a debate as to whether or not it works. It is an FDA approved system and I have seen a lot of chemists who actually really, really like this product, which is rare because chemists are very picky. Do you use it every day? I personally don't. You can use it every day. I guess if you want like the most dramatic results, you can use it every day. Okay, so now that your face is all lubed up, Mm. it should be good. Not my first time. (laughs) (laughs) What have you been doing? (laughs) I don't know. I don't know, (laughs) Hiram. Nothing good. We're going to quickly go in with this and I'm just gonna keep it at a normal strength. I'm gonna start here. <laughs> oh, you scared the <laughs> shit out of me. <laughs> mm, it feels cold. Okay, good. Let me know if you feel shocks. Oh, I felt one. Ooh, okay. it was tingly. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> We love a morning shock. I know, really electrify your life. You electrified me with my hair. I'm returning the fever. <laughs> so how do you know something like this works? Um, results over time, honestly, and seeing the results in other people is what convinced me to actually like start trying it out. Mm. I will say you do not need this in a skincare routine. This is very mm. like fancy and it's very, very extra. Douche. Isn't it like yes. $400 or something? Yes, it's very expensive. Not necessary, but if you're someone who's like really a skincare addict, then this is a fun thing to try. But how was that? I loved it. Good, good. I didn't go in too strong. You know, we'll start you off easy. I feel suctioned. Do you feel like lifted? Yeah. Who needs a face lift? Can you give me Botox too today? I didn't bring my needles. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. I'm not a nurse um, <laughs> and I would not apply Botox. I'd be too scared. Oh my gosh. I know I like some it. people do that without like certification and I'm like, Mm-mm. I would be terrified. I got like filler mm-hmm. in my nose bridge. Mm-hmm. That was a while ago, but I was like showing the guy exactly where I wanted it with the mirror held mm-hmm. up while I was getting like the needles stuck in my <laughs> Are you not scared of needles? I'm not in my face. I don't really love like things like um, vaccines in mm. particular because I don't mm-hmm. like the idea of my arm being sore after. Like it really grosses me out for some reason. Ew, I don't I know. Can understand but then with my face, like, okay, it's fine. <laughs> Which like one is kind of necessary for living and the other one isn't. <laughs> 
Have you ever had Botox? I have not. Would be down to try. I have nothing against it, and I actually think there's a lot of benefits to preventative Botox. But I feel like ugh, I've seen when people get like one tiny little thing done, then all of a sudden everything about them is fake. That oh, they've had yeah. all the work done, that Just... you can't trust any recommendations they make because everything that they do to their face is fake. <laughs> you know? And I kind of don't want to deal with that experience yet, but you know. The fine lines are coming. Do you ever think you'd get it? Oh yeah, for sure. It's just a matter of when, I think. I've always been the kind of person, I don't know, like I know like a lot of like aging does freak out a lot of people, but I am the type of person, like if I'm naturally aging, like if I have smile lines, I'm not bothered by it. It means I lived a happy life, you know? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I want to live a sad, sad life <laughs> without any facial reaction. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so question. Do you break out in any area of your face at all? No. Good. Do you have blackheads? Yes. Oh, blackheads. You do. Where? In my nose. Okay. Oh my god, yeah, you do. No, I'm oh, kidding. I'm kidding. I'm you kidding. bitch! <laughs> that is not what a good facialist does, okay? <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with the salicylic acid and seek help pore clearing and oil control serum. Mm -hmm. The reason I want to use this on the area where you're struggling with blackheads is because salicylic acid is amazing for helping with blackheads. This formula is really lightweight, but the problem with salicylic acid is that normally it's made for people with really oily skin because it has mm. a drying side effect mm. but I used sea kelp in this formula specifically mm. to be able to hydrate the skin so to Ooh. give you an example I use this on my dry areas every single day and I never notice any loss of hydration I actually notice more hydration in the skin that sounds bougie too sea kelp Ooh. I know right did you go find that kelp yourself yep I went out dived into <laughs> the ocean gathered it together oh my god yeah in Coming it. soon in the behind the scenes documentary. <laughs> like a merman outfit too. That would be really hot, but no, I did yeah. not do that. So I'm gonna do like two drops seriously for your nose and that should be fine because you don't need much of this formula for your entire face. You know what's actually funny enough, kind of popular in Hawaii, I guess not popular, but a lot of people do it, being a merman. Like you have really? a merman suit and you actually like swim and take pictures and it's honestly kind of amazing. And and it's I really impressive. I really wanna try it. Yeah, I mean they all have like six packs because of their ability to like swim with like a I've looked into this suit. before. Really? Yeah, because um, I didn't know how intense it was and how you had to hold your breath for like three mm -hmm. minutes swim and like dance it's a lot as soon as i saw like the muscular commitment mm -hmm. needed to do it i was like you know what this is not my path this is not <laughs> my journey oh my gosh i literally had questions prepared for you and i haven't even asked any of them <laughs> so tell me do you have any tattoos and if you don't or if you do what is a tattoo you want to get I don't have any tattoos. Really? Yeah, because I'm scared wow. that I'll end up with my entire body tattoo. Um, which <laughs> is not even fear. Yeah, which is like yeah. not even like scary. It's just like I don't know that I'm not gonna regret it. So I've been like staying away from it. Because I'm a very extreme person. So I feel like if I get one, I'm gonna want a hundred. If I start getting tattoos, guys, you'll see me next time with a hundred of them. And my whole body covered and my neck and my <laughs> face. So honestly, not even kidding. I took a year and a half thinking and like meditating on this tiny ass tattoo for so long because I was so nervous about it. And the second I got it, I was like, I want a hundred. I yeah. want so many. It's just such a fun experience. It's just addicting. Yeah. And if I were going to get a tattoo, I'd probably get like my chest done first. Oh, so like, like a, a very large one. piece. Yeah. Okay. I don't blame you for being a little hesitant. That, <laughs> that is like a big commitment. Next, I'm going to be going in with the Niacinamide Marcuja Daily Barrier Support Moisturizer. This one I think is best for your skin. It's a moisturizer that's focused on really deeply moisturizing the skin without the thick, heavy cream consistency that oftentimes kind of makes it unpleasant. Mm. I don't know if you like to use really heavy creams. What do you prefer to use? Something medium mm -hmm. weight. Mine is like a lightweight gel cream, but <laughs> it packs a punch of moisture. And funny enough, the people who have liked this the most are people who struggle with eczema. Ooh. Yeah. I'm going to be applying about a B-size amount to your face okay. and neck. What is the worst thing that you have done to your hair? Oh my God, so many things. Um, I mean, I've just like definitely have burned my hair off multiple times before and like covered it up. Um, especially like, during my YouTube life. I did this video where I colored my hair with every hair color I ever, I ever owned, like mixed all together. And it turned oh. out like this ugly, like I think it was like a purpley, like brown color oh, or something no. like that. So I did that and then 
after the video, I was like, oh my God, like I can't wear my hair like this. Like it's so ugly. Like, so I had to lighten it again in order to get like a better color. Mm -hmm. But underneath the, the purpley color it mm -hmm. was like already damaged hair. So I lightened it again and then it was so fried. I had to like cut most of it off and it was oh, fine. Nobody no. noticed. <laughs> And I look beautiful. Jeez. Okay, that is intense. I did not expect like that that intense of a response. Yeah, I thank God the video did, did well. Well, thank God. Rest in peace. Mm -hmm. What is your go-to drink? Mezcal on the rocks. Yes. Or just like any mezcal drink. I like very smoky, like just pure alcohol. I don't like having to drink like a giant drink to feel effects of a drink, you mm -hmm, know? Mm -hmm. I wanna just have like my little sips here and there and it's like, boom, we're there. You like mezcal, right? I love mezcal, the premium drink in mm, my opinion because so it good. gets you buzzed fast. It tastes amazing. It's like this smoky experience. And if you know how to make a mezcal cocktail right, it's this perfect balance of smokiness and just deliciousness mm. but it's so I'll good. be having one of those tonight nice as you should how are you feeling so far amazing good. a little too relaxed <laughs> like falling asleep <laughs> what are two items on your bucket list that you have accomplished just traveling the world i haven't traveled the entire world but i've traveled you know many many countries um I don't know. I don't really have like bucket list items. Like mm -hmm. I feel like every day is like a goal, like a before death goal, <laughs> like just to succeed in terms of like career and like happiness. I think those are my biggest bucket list items and just being happy in general is the biggest thing I want to accomplish that I have accomplished, but I want like more happiness. Um, and so I think I've accomplished that, but I want more. Mm -hmm, so traveling mm -hmm. and happiness we can go with today. There is so much like happiness to be had in this job, mm -hmm. but at the same time, it's like there's so much more out there, you know, like yeah. to pursue. Finding what brings me the most happiness. Like, is it filming? Is it doing my business? Is it, you know, I don't know. Is it doing hair only? Like, I don't, mm -hmm. sometimes I just don't really know, like, what is the path to finding like true harmony in my life? Mm -hmm. If that makes sense. Well, I'd be curious to get your perspective on this. I have kind of learned to find joy in the journey yeah. rather than the like final accomplishment. Yeah. No, I definitely have worked on that as well. Um, mm -hmm. I always thought there'd be like one thing that would make me happy, but I think it's just a lot of things. And I think it's just like forever changing. And the more things I can experience, the better. So I try not to like get too caught up in like, is this exact thing gonna make me happy? It's kind of like uh, taking it day by day and just like yeah. not living in the moment, but kind of honestly living in the moment because if you get too focused on like, is this my goal? Is this bringing me happiness? Does this bring me meaning? If you get too focused on those questions, then you kind of like lose the actual joy exactly. of the experience in the moment by getting too caught up in that. I used to constantly do that, like, mm. and eliminate things that I didn't think were making me happy, but it really wasn't about that. It was just about me having a bad attitude and, like, and I should just, you know, go into everything with a great positive attitude and things will be more enjoyable. I so. totally feel that, too. I used to be that person as well where I was always just, like, what is my meaning? What is my purpose? Mm -hmm. I have to find it. If I don't find it, my life is meaningless. Mm. Put so much pressure on yourself. I don't think that's what life is about. You should just enjoy the experiences day by day, see what comes, work for what you want, but don't get too caught up in the, the bucket list mentality per se, where you always have to be focused on like, what am I accomplishing next? And that pursuit yeah. being like your only driver of meaning. You know? It can definitely drive you crazy. Oh my gosh, we're getting so philosophical and deep. I know. I love it. This is what facials do to you. Exactly. <laughs> now, question. Are you just going to be applying your makeup after this and go in? Or are you going to be taking a luxurious shower after this? Or what's your plan? Um, I'll probably clean my house for the next two hours. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> That's the only point. In that case, just make sure you're safe. I am going to apply a little bit of SPF. Just make sure your skin is good from that window light, even though it is a little bit cloudy today. Mm -hmm. I just want to make sure that you have some protection. So I'm going to be going in with the Bliss Blockstar SPF 30 sunscreen. Gotta always have that sunscreen on, baby. You kind of asked me this question. I'd be curious to hear your thoughts. So mm -hmm. what is your favorite thing about your job? And what is your least favorite thing about your job? Mm -hmm. Um, my least favorite thing is feeling like I sometimes have to film videos that I don't want 
to film mm. just because it is my job and I know people will like the video. Mm-hmm. And I know that's not like something I have to do, but I treat this like a job. And, you know, it's the same thing as if you were like a, a morning show host. Like sometimes you don't want to do the morning show. Mm-hmm. And like sometimes you wake up and you're in a bad mood, but you still have to do it, mm-hmm. you know? So I have that philosophy with it when it comes to videos sometimes where I'm like, okay, well, I don't want to do this video, but I know people will like it. So I'm going to do it anyways. Mm-hmm. And sometimes it's just really hard to film those videos when you're just like not into it. You know, when I do film things I love, I'm, I'm so excited and the entire time I have energy and the entire time it feels like not even work. Um, my most favorite part is probably I love having some subscribers and followers and people that know me like I love meeting people outside I love the idea that I could really like start any kind of business and have Mm -hmm. people who will support it it's like the coolest thing to me because I've always wanted to do a million different things in my life and I feel like this platform like really gave me that Mm -hmm. um, ability to do that so it allows me to like dream and constantly be thinking like what is next like do i always want to do hair or do i want to go into a different field or you know switch around and i feel like i have that ability to do that that was so eloquently said wow thank you that was great and honestly it kind of surprised me because my response is exactly the same too Mm. my whole life growing up wanting to do a million different things and Mm. i was always that kid that could never decide what job i wanted to have when Mm -hmm. i grew up and having a platform to be able to launch it to i feel like that's something a lot people don't speak to about YouTube but Mm -hmm. it's one of the coolest parts about it is that you can just create as much as you want and you have so many people amazingly there to support you I know it's amazing okay so I applied sunscreen your face is looking good I'm just gonna go in with a lip balm to make sure your lips are moisturized do your lips get like super dry yeah usually same it is a constant battle of trying to find like a lip product that will actually work do you have big lips yeah they're Pretty big. I feel like people with big lips like have a struggle with dryness. It's too much like gentle skin like on your face. Mm-hmm. There's so much surface area. It's a lot. For like your body to cover. I feel like it's like overwhelming. Also, but like living in a cold area makes it really difficult to like properly hydrate your lips all the way through. But then even in the summer though, it's like dry as hell. I'm like, girl, I thought I was supposed to be moisturized in the summer. Okay, how does your skin feel? Does it Moisturized feel and fabulous. Good. It was relaxing. Yes, That's I loved it. Thing. Okay, cool. I'm falling asleep. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you liked the products. I hope you like my products and everything. The only products I use are soundless by hire. <laughs> Make that into commercial. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Thank you. I appreciate it. If you're interested in any of the products that I did use in this video, they will all be linked down below. If you guys want to see how my hair became this blue ocean amazingness, go over to his channel because you can see the entire experience there. And I asked you a lot of interesting questions. Yes, yes. We, I found a lot. I found out a lot of things <laughs> that I didn't even know about Hiram. A lot of them. Um, Dare I say invasive questions? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, thank you so much for letting me do a facial on your face because this was fun. Thank you. It was so relaxing. It was so beautiful. I'm obsessed. I feel rejuvenated and um, alive, really. And if you guys haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.